Hello viewers, welcome to Linux Simply. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can run a non-empty directory in Linux using your system's port, terminal, and graphical user interface. So let's start. First, let's see the process using the terminal. Also, must remember removing any non-empty directory using the command line interface is a permanent app. So be careful and double check before using the command to remove anything. If you are using it for a test purpose, you can use the directory I have used in this video that is attached in the description below. Alright, now let's see the directory that I will try to remove in this video. You can see the schedule directory in my home directory. I will try to remove this directory. The command that is used to remove a non empty directory and all of its contents is the remove or in short the rm command with the command option recursive. Then give the directory location path. Be sure to correct directory location path. Press enter. And there you go. The directory has been removed from your system. As you can see, after removing the directory, the command shows no output. It just removes and returns a new command prompt. Well, you can fit a verbose output if you want. That way, the command will output everything it does recursively. For that, use the command option verbose. The command option recursive. Followed by the directory location path. Now let's see how it works. Press enter. And now, See the command is output every performed action one by one. Also from the command output, you can see how many files and subdirectories it has deleted. Those are inside the schedule directory. So far you have seen it's a quick and risky way to remove everything inside a directory. Now as a simple way, you can use the command option interactive with the recursive option. This way, command will interactively delete each of the files and subdirectories. So let's see how it works. For that, type the command with the interactive and recursive option, followed by the directory location path. Press enter. And as you can see, the command is asking your permission before performing any action. You have to type Y for yes. And you have to type in for no. Also, if you want to skip any of the particular part of the action, you can just press enter. Now let's try to remove a non-empty directory using the graphical user interface. For that, go to the file manager. Select and right click on the directory you want to remove. And select the option move to fresh. And I, as you can see, your file has been deleted. You can check that inside the trash folder. There we go. With these simple two steps, you can delete any directory and all of its contents using the graphical user interface. Thanks for watching.